Have you been hanging and banging, brothers and sisters? Have you been in the gym, pumping that iron, and getting yourself in top shape? If so, you need to fuel your body. And nobody can do it better for you at a better price and a better quality product than our friends at Best Price Nutrition. That's bestpricenutrition.com. 1-800-499-4810. They got free shipping on orders over $99 in the USA. They even have a 30-day return policy. Ladies and gentlemen, Best Price Nutrition is where it's at. Are you looking to advertise your small business? Then look no further. The PowerCast Network has over 12,000 hits per day to our channel. We have packages starting out at just $1 per day. That's right. You can advertise to an audience of over 12,000 each day for only one dollar give us a call at 815-290-9087 or drop me a line at info at braddrake.net Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 1987 Supermod. This, of course, is the Christmas series, AWA and WWF all month long. I am your host, Brad Drake, and this is my AWA save. Tonight, everybody, the AWA is recording television. So it's all-star wrestling and championship wrestling recording time. Let's get ourselves set in our proper venue. And we always like to record at the Sports Pavilion, Minneapolis Sports Pavilion. There we go. We got that set. Let's take a look here at our absent workers. Uh, nobody but Blackwell and Robinson's only a once-in-a-while guy for us. Backstage instance, Art Washington. Hey, he brought free drinks for everybody. He's a hell of a guy, that guy. All right, Lawler and Grilly. Bunch of protege work here. Good stuff. I like that Randy Rose has proteges now. He could give them must mustache trips, uh, tips, because Randy Rose had one heck of a mustache. All right, let's take a look here, everybody. We are going to be recording championship wrestling, and then we're going to record all-star wrestling. We're going to see the Zebra Kid in action. McDaniel and Von Rochke will be in tag team action. Doug Summers, Ron Simmons, and Greg Wojciechowski will be featured. Greg Gagne is going to put the world television title on the line. We're going to see Jerry Lawler in singles action in the semi-main. And in our main event, we're going to see the Guerrero Brothers challenge the Midnight Express for the world tag team title. For our all-star wrestling taping, we're going to see Despina Montagas in action. The Top Guns in tag action. Cactus Jack, Steve Olsnowski, Mr. Magnificent Kevin Kelly will be in singles action. Number one contender to the world heavyweight crown, Tom Zink, will be in singles action. The Russians will be featured in the semi-main. And in our main event, we're going to see Larry Zabisco challenge Greg Gagne for that world television title. You know what time it is, everybody. I know what time it is. Let's... Get to booking. Here we go. Mike Starr against Zebra Kid here in the opener. And as I think it's Mike Starr. It's not Mark Starr. We'll find out real quick here. All right. More television taping. I'm sure <laughs> you're having fun with it, everybody, with all the recent television taping. And uh, normally I would have done for today the spot show but i messed up and forgot to put the spot show in the events and then i i was planning on doing it after we took care of the lawler stuff but i forgot that it skips me over to the next day so that's what happened here we go zebra kid is going to get the victory here over star star is going to do what star does best and that's lose all right terry gibbs and mad mountain mike are going to take on our veteran team of mcdaniel and von Rotsky. So here we go, three-minute bout. Terry Gibbs, smooth as silk in the ring, excellent worker. And his tag partner here 
big dude, Mad Mountain Mike, real big dude, and they are taking on the veteran team here of McDaniel and Von Rotschke. And you can see they have an average age of 48 between them, but they're still both serviceable. And here we go. Wahoo McDaniel with the win. And next, we're going to have Todd Becker and Doug Summers. They're going to have a three-minute bout here. And here we go. Todd Becker. He's got a great mullet. And here's Dougie Summers. Despite losing that feud with Greg Gagne and coming up short on the world television title, Doug Summers is still a force to be reckoned with here in the AWA. He's bounced back after losing two tag team partners, and he is one of our best hands, frankly. All right, here we go. We are going to have Ron Simmons in action here. And Nacho Barrera is going to do the favor for him. Nacho Barrera listens to this show. So thank you, Mr. Barrera, for being one of our loyal, loyal viewers and listeners. And I hope this Christmas season finds you happy and in good health. All right, uh, next we have Ronnie Simmons here. And Ron Simmons is going to get the W. Nacho is going to do what Nacho does best, and that's put his man over. All right, up next, we have Terry Ellis against the dangerous Greg Wojciechowski. And Wojciechowski is a scary man. Very dangerous man. There's Terry Ellis. Here he is, Greg Wojciechowski. And Wojo's going to get the victory here. And continue his winning ways. All right, Greg Gagne is going to cut a promo. Greg Gagne, of course, is in that feud with Larry Zabisco. And here we go. Here's Greg Gagne. And he's talking to Larry Nelson. And he's talking about Larry Zabisco. Two Larrys. Right, here we go. Entertainment. Off screen, both non rated. That one's in the books, everybody. And next, we have Tom Bennett against Greg Gagne for that world television title. Remember, the TV title is defended on every show, television show. Here's Bennett, and here is Gagne. There's Tommy Bennett. Here is Greg Gagne. Tom Bennett, of course, would make up the third member of the Texas Hangman. Uh, Strangler, he would be. Texas Hangman Strangler. All right, here we go. Greg Gagne with the victory here. Next, we have a Jerry Lawler promo, and it should be outstanding, as his promos usually are. And I'm sure he's got a lot to say about Don Morocco. There's Jerry Lawler. He's talking to Larry Nelson. He's talking about Don Morocco, our latest free agent acquisition. This one's based on entertainment. He gets the full six minutes. That one's in the books and ready. Next, we're going to have Tom Stone versus Jerry Lawler. I don't think I've officially changed over Tom Stone's name to Rocky Stone. But I'm going to now if I haven't. Oh, it looks like I did, everybody. There he is! Yes! I did change it over. See that? All right. All right, there's Rocky Stone. And here is Jerry the King Lawler. Lawler, of course, is going to get the victory here. Got him for another 10 dates here in the loan deal, so that's good. Next, we're going to have the Midnight Express promo, and their promos aren't usually the greatest. All 
But that's okay because the system we have set up protects us against that hurting us too badly. Here is Dennis Condry. Here is Randy Rose. And they are back in the money by carrying the World Tag Team title. They, of course, are talking to Larry Nelson. And they are talking about Steve Kern and Stan Lane. Nice little feud we got going on with these two teams. And Paulie Dangerously is based on entertainment. We're not going to base Condry and Rose. And then Stan Lane and Steve Curtin are off screen. So that one's booked. All right. And now we're ready for our main event, which is the Guerrero Brothers versus the Midnight Express. You've heard me talk time and time again about the Guerrero Brothers. Think very highly of them. They are excellent. Here's the Guerrero Brothers, and here are the Midnight Express. We can auto name this one. We're going to throw the C in there. Does it signify that Midnight Express are the title holders currently. And 14 is what this match is supposed to be. All right. We have a lot of different ways we could go with this one. Uh, what I'd like to do is solidify in the eyes of the fans the new champion team. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have them go over. We're gonna have the Midnight Express go over, but it's gonna be dirty. They're going to win by interference from Paulie Dangerously, and we have to cut three minutes. Oh yeah, Ellis and Wojciechowski's way too long. All right, which means our main can go four more. Yeah. All right, we're ready here. Let's start this one and see how we do, everybody. All right, Red text the Doom here as the Zebra Kid defeats Mike Starr and Zebra Kid's finisher, the Moonsault, is not showing up here. Let's find out why. We'll look into that. And up next, we have McDaniel and Von Rotschke getting the win. When Wahoo wins with that uh, Tomahawk chop, we get a 47 overall. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, Doug Summers gets the win with his figure four leg lock here over Todd Becker. And Dougie Summers looks good with that 85. All right, Ron Simmons gets the win with his scoop power slam here over Nacho Barrera. Simmons has a 72 on his own. Very nice. Wojciechowski wins with the Boston Crab here over Terry Ellis. Wojciechowski had an 85 on his own here. He has really gotten over. 69 overall for this bout, which is darn good score for an enhancement match. All right, Greg Gagne only gets a 58 on his uh, promo. We had to try, right? But he gets a 70 here with his win with the Gagne sleeper over Tom Bennett. Number 60, defense number 60, that world television title. Here we go, Jerry Lawler gets an 84 in his promo, which is surprisingly low considering the numbers we've seen Lawler put up before. A little strange there, but uh, still might have saved us on the uh, promo end of things. And 68 for Lawler as he wins with the Flying Fist Drop, his alternate finisher over that pile driver. And 91 for Lawler here, good stuff. Up next here, hey, not too bad. Holy Dangerously nets a 73 for his team here in their promo. And this main event should rock us a really good score here. And it definitely does with a 92 outstanding score. And the Midnight Express retain the World Tag Team title after cheating the Guerrero Brothers. All right, we're going to finish this one up. And there we go, 84 overall. Massive popularity gains across all our regions. I tell you, folks, it... Uh, I'm pretty proud of this save. We really took the AWA out of the dumpster and uh, saved the day here, and we're doing real well. All right, Sabrina and Despina Montagas here are going to go at it. And Sabrina is going to lose, obviously, to Montagas, who is currently challenging for the world women's title around the loop and here we go Despina Montagas gets the win 
She's a very good women's wrestler. Very good women's wrestler. All right, up next, Mikey Jones and Crusher Krugnoff against the Top Guns. Good to see the Top Guns back on TV here. Jones and Krugnoff versus the Top Guns. There we go. Here's Mikey Jones. He looks exactly, you know, I finally figured it out. He looks exactly like this guy that I used to work with. And his name was Steve. And he was completely and totally useless. That is exactly who Mikey Jones looks like. Same build, too. Steve had, like, these buggy whip arms with no muscle, muscular definition. Yet he was fat because he drank 800 Diet Pepsis a night. Finally figured it out. That's exactly who Mikey Jones reminds me of. I'll tell you a little more about that guy, Steve, sometime down the road. He was the worst worker I ever saw in my life. Ever. And uh, that's 24 years of me in the labor field. And uh, that guy was the worst worker I ever saw. All right, the Top Guns are going to get the win here in this enhancement match. As they continue to gain in popularity, Stevie Butler is going to face Cactus Jack. And it's not going to go good here for Steve Butler. Here we go. There is Steve Butler. Here's Cactus Jack, the man that I normally don't care too much for, but he has really grown on me here. He's doing very well here in the AWA, where he is managed by none other than dastardly Don Carson. All right, up next here we have Mike Tolis taking on Steve O, Steve Olsonowski. Nice to see Olsonowski get a win here. It doesn't do that very often. I don't want to say Olsonowski is definitely not enhancement, but uh, he's definitely not cashing in the wins here. All right. Olsonowski with the win. Well, let's see what his record is for the heck of it. 28 and 21. So. He's winning more than he's losing. He's doing his job for us. All right, there we go. Olsonowski over Tolas, who again looks like some kind of shady gangster. I tell you, he looks like he looks like a loan shark. Looks like the type of guy you meet in the bathroom at the taco stand. The loan five hundred bucks. All right, Mark Young is up against Kevin Kelly here, and there's not going to be any break dancing here for Mark Young. Going to go three minutes here. Here is Mark Young. Here's Kevin Kelly. And Kevin Kelly with the W, everybody. Mr. Magnificent, I'm sure he's going to win with that sleeper. Uh, the other good thing that comes out of us skipping that uh, spot show by accident was it did give all our wrestlers an extra day of rest. Quite a few of them uh, were fatigued. so. Uh, some good stuff comes out of things when you make a mistake. All right, Tom Zank is going to cut a promo here, and we all know he's talking about the heavyweight champion of the world, Kurt Hennig. Here's Tom Zank talking to Larry Nelson. He's talking about that Kurt Hennig. Here we go, entertainment, off-screen, Booked. There we go. Next, we have Ron Ellis in there once again against Tom Zank. And not once again. That was Terry Ellis before. This is Ron Ellis. wonder if they're related. There's Ron Ellis. I just realized we had two Ellises. There's Tom Zank. So where's Terry Ellis? Terry Ellis here. Let's take a look at Terry. Yeah, we're going to have to make them brothers, whether they are or aren't. Put them into tagging together. All right, here's Tommy Zank with the win. Booked. All right, let's check out tag teams here. Here we go, the Ellis brothers.
There's Ron Ellis. There is Terry Ellis. Individuals. Add team. They're added, yeah. And, of course, I messed up and put Tom Stone in there. <laughs> oh. All right, we're going to delete this one. <laughs> and, oh, boy. <laughs> All right, here is Ron Ellis. For real this time. And there is Terry Ellis. And here we have the Ellis brothers and their individuals and that team's added so here we go there are the ellis brothers <laughs> all right gotta have some fun here everybody you gotta mix things up a little bit all right we're just after tom zank here the russians are gonna cut a promo and of course that's gonna be chic and not lkc doing all the work on that one So here we go. Shiki is doing the work. Not that Shiki, the other one. Remember, do not pair those two up. That's like oil and water. All right, here's Boris Zhukov. Even though they would be paired up years later in the WWF, but it didn't make any sense. And here's Soldat Ustinov. And they're talking to Larry Nelson. And, of course, they're talking about Marty Jannetty and Shawn Michaels. And that hot feud they got going right now. Off screen, off screen. Entertainment on the Sheik. This one's booked. Next, we have Baxter and Ernesto against the Russians. And, of course, we get to see Sean Baxter's hair here. There he is. There's Sean Baxter. Look at that hair. And here is Tom Renesto Jr. He's got his head down because he knows what's coming here. And the Russians are here. And Soldat Ustinov is going to get the win this time for his team. And that one is in the books, everybody. Going up next here, Larry Zabisco is going to cut a promo. Larry Zabisco very rarely lets us down. But we have been dealing with some TEW screw jobs here, so you never know. There we go. There's Larry Zabisco, and he's talking to Larry Nelson. And, of course, he's talking about Greg Gagne, the man he is chasing for that world television title and who he's going to be facing here just moments from now. All right, and here's our big main event. They should be able to go 18. Zabisco versus Gagne for that coveted world television title. Here's Greg Gagne. Here is Larry Nelson. Sorry, Larry Zabisco, not Larry Nelson. Larry Nelson is not going to wrestle. All right, and this one is going to end up with a draw. Imagine that, everybody. And it is going to be a double count-out finish. You want to see the match? You better buy a ticket when they come to town. That's how it goes. All right, we're going to start that show. Despera Montagas with the win here over Sabrina. Nice 60 score here. For Montagas, of course, we got Red Text the Doom, as both these ladies just aren't over yet. The Top Guns get the victory here over Steve, the guy I used to work with, also known as Mikey Jones, and Crusher Krugnoff. And, uh, oh, that Steve guy. He used to set this alarm off in this room. He was uh, assigned to clean a room every night, and I gave him the punch code several times to turn the alarm off before he went into the room. I even made him write it down on one of my business cards and keep it in his wallet. And I made him show me as he put it in his wallet and then put his wallet back in his pocket. And he still set the alarm off after that. So, Mikey Jones and Crusher Krugnoff take the loss here to the top guns. I can't unsee that now that I've seen it. 37 overall, but at least there's no red text to doom. 
Here we go. Cactus Jack gets the win over Stevie Butler with that double arm DDT. And we get a 52 overall. All right, up next here, Steve Olsonowski wins over Mike Tolas, the gangster that you can loan some money from in a taco stand bathroom uh, with a 58 overall. 67 for Olsonowski on his own. Not bad for the former Rookie of the Year. Mark Young, no break dancing was done as Kevin Kelly sent him down with the sleeper. And 66 for Mr. Magnificent on his own. 55 overall for the enhancement match. And I'll take it. And here we go, Tommy Zank. With a nice 76 here in his promo against Kurt Hennig. And he, of course, is hyping that one up to the closest uh, arena that will be running near you. Because remember, this is syndicated television here on All-Star Wrestling. Up next here, Tommy Zank beats one half of the Ellis Brothers tag team and Ron Ellis. And he uses that missile dropkick and gets the 1-2-3. 63 overall. All right, the Russians with Sheik Adnan LKC still score a 70. On their promo, I like it. And uh, good stuff. Ah, I screwed up and put Mark Young in there. Instead of Marty Gennetti. You probably saw it while I was doing it, too. You didn't stop me. Then again, how could you have? <laughs> All right, here is the Russians get the win over Baxter and Resto Jr. 56 overall. 79-72 for the Russians. Not bad. Let's see, is Soldat Ustinov still getting an experience? He is. Wow. We're over a year into the save, and the guys rest a lot. Anyway, Larry Zabisco with a 91 promo. That's my man. Good promo. Good promo, Larry. Here we go. Look at all that green. That green not only looks good on the screen, but it also means money. Up next here, yes, Zabisco and Ganya get themselves a 93 here. And double count out the title. Stays right where it's at with Greg Ganya, but now... You want to buy that ticket to your hometown. All right, this one's, let's take a look at the dirt sheet for the heck of it. And bonus all the way across the board here. Really good stuff. Here we go. Let's finish this one up. And we get an 84 overall. Popularity increase across nine regions. This show did its job, everybody. So we'll be back in action tomorrow to film the second half of our TV tapings. We'll make the adjustment Right now in the spreadsheet, we'll be kicking off with Championship Wrestling here, of course. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in. For those of you that are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you leave us a message below. Let us know how uh, how you found the channel and what you think of it. And uh, we're very glad to have you with us. If you would like version 9 of the Supermod, head on over to braddrake.net. Drop me a line. I'll be more than happy to send you over a link to the database and the picture pack. Last, but definitely not least, for those of you that would like to participate with us on social media, you can find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash groups slash 1987supermod. You can also find us over on Reddit under the subreddit of TEW2020Friends. Thank you for turning in, everybody. I hope you're enjoying the Christmas series this December. Plenty more to come. And don't forget to check out Best Price Nutrition. New, new year, new you is coming soon. You're going to be working out. You make sure you feed your body right, everybody. Head on over to Best Price Nutrition and pick up some supplements. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.